Hey guys. Well, uh, I'm back. This video is about making this walking stick. When my brother was here a couple months back, he wanted me to make one. I told him I said, well, my lace is not long enough for that. And he suggested that, well, just make it in segments. And so I did. And here it is. It has three segments. It's hickory. Very strong. Now, each segment has a quarter inch steel rod uh, going three inches on each side here and right here. Uh, the topper is epoxy and, and inside there's an M. Our last name starts with an M. Uh, the only downside here is if you drop it on concrete, this may be gone. But other than that, I think it turned out pretty nice. Well, anyway, uh, I've been sort of laid back on my turning since, you know, you know, I busted my ankle when I was down for four, four or five months, and then I got that damn shingles and I was down for a couple more months, so I got back into turning, and what I, what I figured out is I was just a little bit on the burned out side of turning, always having, trying to think of a new project for the next one and so forth, so I slowed down. Me and my friend built this, I'm going to show you a picture here, this, uh, uh, eight foot walnut, solid walnut table for, uh, for a guy up in north of Chicago. He flew all the way down and rented a box truck to take it home and he was extremely pleased. Of course he got it for about half what it would cost him if he uh, went to a store and bought it. Anyway, I'm sort of back in the saddle but I'm not, I'm not making videos very fast now. I just got so many other things going on. You know, it takes quite a bit of effort to keep his 10 acres up. And it's just me, guys. You know, there's no, nobody over here helping me. So, you know, it's you know, about three, three to four hours to mow and, and so forth. And today I'm power washing the deck. You know, you just, you, you can't let things go. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm slowing down on turning. Don't expect another one real soon, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing it because I like doing it. Just had a real problem what to do next, you know. Sort of like, well, I don't need nothing. So, you know, I'm just doing it basically for a video. And you know, I'll give it to somebody. I always do. But anyway, uh, and we're going to proceed and, and make this cane for my brother who lives in Tulsa. You'll have to come and get it. Or maybe I'll bring it to him this fall. Talk to you later. Let's go. Hey, I'm out here in my backyard. I recently had to have this hickory cut out of my yard. It was uh, it was over the house there, and the top was dead. So, you know, it's afraid it's going to you know, break off and fall. It wasn't a great big one, but it's pretty good size. So what I'm doing out here is I'm going to build this uh, walking cane for my walking stick for my brother. And he wants it 55 inches long. Of course, I can't do all that on a lathe, so I'm going to do three 20-inch pieces of, uh, of hickory and then put them together, and then I'm going to cast something for a top. So, I, you know, I went through some of this, and uh, this one right here, I think I can get those out of there. And by the time I whittle them down, I think they'll make, you know, uh, good enough. It needs to be like an inch round when it's done, maybe an inch and a half, I'm not sure. It's just whatever I come up with, but I got another piece right behind it, so I'm gonna get use my little chainsaw here and cut those into three pieces, and then we'll see what we got. So I'll catch you when I get done. All right, as usual, I pre-drill a recess for my drive center right here. This fits in it. I are guaranteed not to go anywhere. And I drill a starting point here. I'll do this one just a little different. I'll get it about centered. That's some hard stuff, my friends. Hickory. All right, I'm going to start rounding this thing.
you know, almost where I want to go. Well, that was the end of uh, making the walking stick because, you know, I decided I wasn't going to make a video of it. But then, you know, I changed my mind, so uh, now we're going to start out with you know, making this topper out of epoxy. Interesting project. Didn't quite turn out like I wanted it to, but what does? So, you know, let's just sort of get on with it and enjoy it. Take care. Hey guys, I just uh, I just made this uh, walking stick. Uh, I just epoxied the parts together, so uh, you know I got a little cleaning up to do. This is uh, hickory out of my yard. And it's sort of hard to find three straight pieces that you, know, you could do enough of this with. But if I need it. need to sharpen that and put it over here. Alright, let's see if we can put that chuck on it. Like I said, it ain't going to have much there, but okay. it's have enough. Now we're going to flip it around. Okay. What am I going to do here? Cutter got it loose. I might as well hurl it around. Well, I think I already did though. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the sharpening stone. Oh yeah. This needs to be a little small. And then I need to do something to put a little bit of something right there. Maybe something like a pocket knife. So this right here needs to be smaller. Just a hair. Alright, I got this out here. Here's my M. Uh, it's going to sit right here, just like that. I got to open the slot of the pocket knife. First, this, uh, see that right there? That uh, forced a bit hole. That's designed for it to fit like that. Okay. 
you know, when, you know, when it's done, it'll fit like that. But if I put it in here now and pour the epoxy and fill it up, so what I'm doing is I'm going to, I'm going to fill it full of modeling clay, like so. And hopefully, I'll be able to get it out without, you know, and save that hole. So, okay, if it's just fine, I might put a, no, once, once I put my stuff in there, you can't put any kind of glue or nothing. It just won't stick no more. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is sort of dry out, I'm going to add a little bit of water to it and seal it. Because you never know when I need it. So here is what I use for mold release. It's actually, it's on, I use, use it on my camper, but it's slide out silicone, just silicone. And what I do is I just take some and put it on a paper towel. And I, then I take whatever I'm going to use for a mold and basically do that to it. And I have found that this works as good as any mold release. And it's a hell of a lot cheaper. Okay. There you go. That's all you got to do. And nothing, nothing to stick to that now. So <clears throat> what I got to do? And I left it in the other room, but I'm going to get a some thick uh, store bond CA to gob there and sit that up. And. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, here it is. Starbond Fix CA. Sorry it took so long, but it was in the other room. I keep, I keep it in the refrigerator. I found earlier that once you open it, if you don't keep it refrigerated, and if you don't use it for a whole bunch of months, or whenever, well, ain't gonna nothing pour out of there, is it? Goodness. Well, let's see what can fix it. I see a hole. Let me keep fixing real quick. What to make pocket knives for. I'm going to dig a hole in this. This is thick. There you go. There, we got it now. So, let's put a dog right there. Here it is. Maybe. That's the thing. Okay, that's all I need right there. Right there. A little bit. And I take the M. I'm going to put a little bit of cellar right on that one. I'm going to put it all over. And I'll show you in there like so. Turns over there. I got here just a little more. That should do it. Oh yeah. Got that in there, that in there, and there we go. First half is done. Now I'm gonna go find a piece of thick walnut to put up here. I'm gonna pour epoxy here and push the walnut in. And that'll be when I, when I dome it, I plan for just a little cap of walnut on top. Well, I know it's a big waste of walnut, but you know that's what that's what happens. All right, I'm pretty sure I got everything together now. Uh, when I when I pour this, I've already got this into there. See, I got a big wad of hot glue at the bottom, and I make this. It's going to go on the top. And it's going to sit right here like so. Okay? So the amount of epoxy is going to be from here to here. So it's not going to take a whole hell of a lot. Ah. Go down to five. Yeah, it's plenty. Okay. <clears throat> Get back to my train of thought. 
was thinking this is going down too far, maybe. So my train of thought is that, you know, this might be too much when we push this in, it might overflow, so I'm going to have this sitting inside of that one. Just for grins. So first I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm, I ain't no sense in letting it stick in there. Basically, gonna wipe this one down inside. Yes, for grins. All right, there you go. Let it sit there. This is sit here. Horn, and that will go into there when it's ready. And this is for mixing. And this is two to one. This is a uh, total boat two to one. I haven't used it very much, and. Uh, this condition, I got a feeling this can uh, sit up pretty quick. Although it's you know, it's pretty nice in here. I got 75 now. It was 83 when I came in, but I decided to turn on the air roll conditioning. Now I want this to have ever so subtle of a blue tint, and that might be difficult to do because this stuff. Colors in there, heartbeat. Where are they? Where are they? Four, four, four. No, it don't take much. Right there. Try that. Let's see what we got. All right. That's not enough. It's getting there, though. It's better to add a little bit at a time, isn't it? Pour it in, Larry. I'll tell you what, I'll do it out here so you guys can see. Get that out of the way. Maybe about the right amount. Huh, miracles never cease, do they? Put this in here. Little bits coming out, but not much. It looks like I've done scored a good one here. Yes, sir. Working just fine. Let me get it in the pressure right pot there. Go ahead and stick the air to it. Here you go, nice and slow. You never want to put it in fast because it blows straight down. Could upset something you don't know. I'm just, I'm not going to use the air for so I'm just going to leave it on there. So, well, I got it out of, out of the mold. It came out pretty easy. I did have to, to uh, cut it loose because it is stuck at the bottom. All the sides come loose, but it's stuck at the bottom where that clay is. I'm not sure that clay was such a good idea because it, it was sort of like made a pretty good mess. I think I'd rather drill me a new one in a in epoxy than try to clean this mess up. But here we are. Yeah, so that's what look we're how doing. that uh, hickory changed. Damn near looks like walnut, doesn't it? Then we.
I'm going to do. I'm going to sand a little. So I can see what I got. I may have to turn some more, but no, it's, it's all right. I don't care. So let's start out with something. I can see it right there. I'm pretty close. I think I'm about where I need to be. Yeah, that's about right. He's got big hands. So it'll be all right once we get a high shine to it. All right, I'm gonna start off. With, I'm gonna wet sand it now, old-fashioned wet sand it. But uh, what I like to do is I like to have warm, soapy water. It keeps your paper clean and feels good too. And mainly, it keeps your paper clean. Your paper won't won't fill up. I'm gonna start with 600 and probably go down to 6,000 here. One at a time. Got a bunch of old towels spread out. Cause I, I got a bad habit of slinging water. So let's get it wet and see what we got here. I got two coats of sealer on this. Maybe it'll help. Now I'm going to be using Axe paste. <clears throat> Axe paste works on just about anything. All right, well, this this is basically finished. I've got to uh, clean up a joint here where I had to redo it. I did find out something, though. Uh, CA glue does not hold. I put uh, thick CA glue, and I came out a few days later, and not every joint was loose. So it didn't work out so good. could be due to maybe moisture in the wood or something. And then I tried six-minute epoxy. And it's 83 degrees in here, so it became two-minute epoxy. So <laughs> before I could get, before I could get this joint all lined up and settled it set up on me, so it looks like I got a gap in here. But I, I tried to get it loose and I couldn't do it. So, but uh, this one I didn't even get to this one, so went back and got 30 minutes of epoxy, put this on and and this. So I, all I got to do is clean these up and reseal it, and I've got to polish this top, and uh, we'll be done with this now. I'll set it up and when I go to toss all this uh, all, I'll take it to my brother for a gift. Okay, yeah, that's all you're done. It's been sort of a fun project. It's different for a change. Uh, been doing so many other projects, hadn't do, been doing much turning, and actually that's sort of a blessing. So here's the uh, walking stick with the topper for my brother. So, Glenn, I will see you in the fall, and I will bring this with me. You guys have some happy turning. Subscribe, give me a like, and I'll see you on the next one. And you know what? Call your mom. Bye.